What's happening, folks? It's John with Tim Short Classics, bringing you a, I think it's Thursday, a Thursday edition. I can't keep up with how many days a week they are anymore. I think they may have added one. I don't know, maybe eight days. But anyway, today's Thursday, bringing you a 1981 C28 Camaro with a, it's supposed to be a uh, crate uh, engine. I don't think it was made it. It wasn't Jasper. But anyway, it's a crate engine, 355. Got a small cam to it. Uh, 350 turbo transmission. We put a new interior in this car. Uh, what? Well, not new interior. I did uh, uh, T-top seals. I did the seat cover front and back, and that's about it. And we added four new BF Goodrich white wall tires on. Still got the blue on them, uh, just to get this car ready for the road. We're gonna do. I do things a little backwards today. This is a pretty out. I thought it'd be prettier to start at the airport, work my way down, and then uh, do another walk around with you or whatever y'all guys want. But anyway. Uh, if y'all have things I need to do different in my videos, I know my tens and tens of followers and viewers, uh, um, I really appreciate y'all putting the input in and sending me messages. My email is s-i-ones at timshoreautomotive.net uh, dot com blah, and our website is, website is timshoreclassics.net. Let's do a little walk around and I'll shut up for a second. Yep, need to touch up right here, which I have done. And point it at the third is. Really hard to see with white in the sun with brown brown as it is. Radio works, power antenna works, the air induction works on the hood when you kick it down. This car is a three owner West Virginia car. Gosh dog, I hate when I do that. Four man, it looks like garbage. Three owner West Virginia car. I'm doing my best to keep my fingers out of the video today. You know how hard it is to find seat covers and match material anymore? They don't make like an OEM color. Well, this is OEM style, but it's a little darker blue than what the originals were. Still looks good.
nothing worse than getting a car. Because I always say we ship a lot of inventory. There's no worse than getting a car and then having a dead battery. Reverse. As I always say, we are at Pike County International Airport. Runway and everything's over here. I like doing it up here. It's a high spot on the mountain. Plenty of scenery. Clouds are beautiful today. It's a local airport. I guess our nearest one is uh, Lexington, Kentucky, two and a half hours away. We also have one in Louisville, Kentucky, which is about three and a half hours away. We are centrally located in Eastern Kentucky to West Virginia, right on the West Virginia border, near the Virginia border, Wise Norton area in uh, Logan Del Bar. Dash is nice in the car, not bubbled up. I got the car from a young gentleman who his grandfather had bought it for him. So it's technically two family owned, but it's three owner because the grandson. He had uh he had bought it for his grandson for a project for them two. And uh grandson had college coming up and everything else and decided that he'd rather have college money than the car so we purchased it off of him to uh, help his dream come true and hopefully he'll be a doctor someday and end up going to work on it so you can see the cow induction or the iron induction works on it the odometer uh, i'll have to check it out it's not working probably unhooked on the transmission where they put the motor in it probably just didn't hook everything back up What's that to be taken care of? The car's got a really nice sound to it. Not real loud, but it's got a, I hate saying it, a throaty sound. I just, I have no idea that word hurts me, but it's, that's the best way you can describe it. Plenty of power. Brakes are nice. Vibration steering wheel. Doesn't pull. So it don't need a front end alignment or anything. Steering wheel straight. Gas in does work because I just put gas in and it was on E. So I really think somebody comes on the store, siphons our gas, and I uh, like to catch them. The man, gas is, they're saying it's going to be $100 a barrel uh, before long. Saying it's already $350 a gallon in Eastern Kentucky. And I'm sure it's higher in the major market cities just due to, well, usually a few days before the gas prices go up here. Down the mountain, we'll be coming down the mountain when we come. I'm gonna pull over right here. I just want to show you guys how I rode and drove. Then we'll do it my little normal clothes and stuff, and then I'll leave you guys alone. Again, this car can be financed. We have three different banks that does uh, classic car financing. Gosh, God was it. My folks. We have a uh, um, JJ Best, Woodside Credit, and then local bank, community trust banks. We can get up to 84 months on this car. Uh, I do ship nationwide, worldwide, wherever you want it to go. I've shipped to Europe, uh, Germ Germany, Japan, Australia. I've sent to California, not go California, it's foreign for us uh, due to the distance. Uh, Canada and uh, any state in between. So if it's something that you'd be interested in, feel free to look us up at timshoreclassics.net. You can email me at s.owens at timshoreautomotive.com. My cell is 270-790-7534. Again, that's 270-790-7534. And uh, we'll do anything we can to help you guys out. I really appreciate you all watching it. Hope you all have a great weekend if I don't post another one tomorrow. And you all have a great day. God bless.